Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video I'll show you how I made this creative history presentation using PowerPoint. So let's start formatting the background. So right click format background, go to gradient fill and here let's select radial. Now we're gonna drag some of these handles down Let's go to direction and change it to this one right here. And now for this handle on the right, I'm going to pick the color black. And for the one on the left, I'm going to pick a dark gray. Now I'll just move them a little bit closer to each other so we get this awesome radial effect. And now let's insert a rectangle. So I'm just going to place it right here. This will be the border of our magazine. So let's align it to center and align it to middle. Holding Ctrl and Shift on your keyboard, you can make it smaller without it being distorted. And now let's get rid of the outline. So click on Shape Outline, No Outline, and let's change the color of the field to red. Now I'll go back to the gradient settings because here I want the middle circle to show a little bit more to create kind of like a spotlight effect. And I'll also make this rectangle a little bit smaller because I'm going to add a shadow. So from the shape effects panel, let's select a shadow right here and I'll increase the distance. I'll also play around with the blur and with the angle. And we can see that the shadow is already showing up on the left of the rectangle. And that's going to give us a little bit more depth and it will make our magazine look a little bit more realistic. Okay, so let's grab an image from internet. So here I'm just going to pick Einstein and I'm just going to copy the image and paste it. And now let's click on picture format here at the top, then click on crop and I'm just going to align the handles to that rectangle that we did. So something like this and you can also reposition your image and when you're done just click on crop again. Now again holding Ctrl and Shift on your keyboard you're going to make this image a little bit smaller and I'll actually click on crop again just to make these top and bottom handles a little bit um, larger to really create that frame effect. Okay, this is looking really good. So let's go to insert and click on text box. And for the title of the magazine, I'm gonna pick the font Times New Roman and I'm gonna write the word time using the red color and I'm just gonna make it larger and put it here. Also, if you're enjoying this tutorial, please make sure to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lourutia PPT. Now with the text selected and holding control on your keyboard, you're gonna drag down to duplicate and here I'll just replace the word so I'll just write the word Einstein and put it right here at the bottom. And let's go to the text effect options and let's add a shadow. And I'll just adjust the transparency. Perfect. So now we have the cover of our magazine and let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And I'll just make this rectangle right here larger so it takes the whole area of the slide. Let's move this text up and this one down out of the frame. And I'll also zoom out a little bit because I want to make them larger so the effect looks better. And I'll just change the transparency of the red rectangle temporarily so I can see exactly where the slide is. And now let's select our image, click on crop and drag the handles all the way to the edges of the slide, which is that dark area that we can see behind the red shape. And I'll also click on field so the image takes the whole space. I'll also make it larger and move it a little bit to the right. 
and this step isn't necessary but I'm just gonna add a vertical guide and put it on the left edge of the slide just as a reference for me to know exactly where the slide is. So now I can bring back the transparency of that red rectangle and now I'll just add a new white rectangle right here and I'm gonna make it larger like this. Okay, so now I'll get rid of the outline and I'll change the color to white. And now I'll just copy this text right here and paste it into the next one so it's easier for me to replace it. So for this one, I'll just get rid of the shadow from the text effect options. And here I'll change the color to black and I'll just put it right here. Holding control on your keyboard, you can duplicate the text box to change it. So let's put the first name right here. And then I'll insert a description. So let's go to insert text box. And here I'll just draw a text box and I'll just put placeholder text for now but you can edit that later. So I'll just center align it and put it right here. So now holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select everything and paste it into the first slide and drag it to the left outside of the slide. And here I'll just move the description and the white box a little bit more to the left. And now if you click on Transitions Morph, you will get this awesome effect. So now it's time to add a new slide. And here I'm gonna change the background color to black. And I'll just copy this text right here and paste it into the next slide. And I'm gonna edit that later. So I'll just move this to the side for now. And now let's go to Google and look for Ripped Paper PNG. And if you go to images, you'll get a few ripped paper PNGs. So I'm gonna pick this one right here. And if the background looks black and suddenly transform into a checkerboard, that means it's a PNG with transparent background. So right click, copy image and paste it here. And now I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter and I'll just put it right here. So now I'll bring the text that I copied to the front. So right click, bring to front, I'll put it right here. And that way it will be easier to replace. So here I'll just write his equation. And to superscript the square at the end, let's select it. Click on this icon right here and click on superscript and click on OK. And now I'll just give these two texts a little bit more space. If you're enjoying this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lurutia PPT. And now let's go to Google and look for the Nobel Prize PNG. And I'll just copy this image right here. So right click, copy image, and let's paste it into our slide and I'll just make it smaller and move it to the side right here. And now let's go back to our previous slide, copy the description and paste it right here. And I'll just move it to the side and change the color to white. I'll make sure that everything is aligned within the slide. And then I'm gonna insert a rectangle and I'll just put it right here and remove the outline and change the color to red. Now I'll just grab an image from Google. So right click, copy image, paste it, and then I'll just make it smaller and move it right here where our Nobel Prize is. And I'll just move this image to the front. So right click, bring to front. Remember that with the crop button, you can change the placement of the image. And now let's add some animation. So click on the Nobel Prize image, go to animations, click on the arrow right here and select spin. 
And now you're going to go to animation pane, right click, start with previews and right click effect options. And here we're going to change the value to 15 degrees. So you just have to click here and on custom just write 15. Then smooth the end, auto reverse and click on repeat until the end of the slide and click on OK. And now we have just like a subtle effect that looks really cool. So now I'm going to drag a video that I previously downloaded from YouTube actually. I'll just put it here, change the crop because I want this to be square. And then you can just align the red rectangle to that crop that we did for the video. And let's get rid of the pause button from the animation pane. So right click and remove. And let's change the playback from the animation panel to start with previews. So when we click on play all, our two animations are running at the same time, which is the video and the Nobel Prize. Now go to transitions and click on page curl. And that's how we get this magazine effect. Okay, so for the last slide, let's change a background color to a light gray. And then I'm gonna insert a shape. So let's insert a rectangle that's gonna take the whole area of the slide holding shift and control on your keyboard let's make it smaller and now let's get rid of the outline and change the color to white and it's time to add some text you can add it by going to insert text box or you can copy a text box from your previous slides and here i'll just write a quote this one is actually one of my favorite quotes in the world. Imagination is more important than knowledge. 100% I agree. So I'll just put it right here. And I'll change the line spacing from this panel. So I'll just click on multiple 0 0.9. And now I'll create the quote marks. So using the same font, I'm just going to make it larger and change the color to red. And then holding control on your keyboard, you're going to duplicate it. And then you can just rotate it to create the other one. Of course, let's not forget of the author of this quote. So I'll just put it right here. But for this one, I will decrease the size of the font. And of course we need to add some content text. So I'll just copy paste the text box from the previous slide, change the color to black. And this will be a good guide to see how much text I actually need to add to this slide. So I'll just duplicate it, move it to the side and align everything. And now I'll add a full stop right here and insert a line that's going to run from that dot all the way to the left margin of the slide. So I'll change the color to black and increase the weight of the stroke. And now I'll just insert a PNG that I found on Google as well. And I'll just make it smaller and put it right here. I think this layout looks really cool and we're gonna add a little bit of animation to that floating head as well so to do that let's just go back to our previous slide and copy the animation using the animation painter and apply it to our new image the last thing that we need to do is to add our transition as well so let's go to transitions and click on the drop down menu and click on page curl and that's it guys, that's how I made this awesome presentation using PowerPoint. Remember to like and subscribe and to also check my website for templates. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LuRutaPPT. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support and I will see you in my next video.